And I think uh, that's what she was referring to when she used the word broken. I think broken would represent families in different households, period. Like I don't because think it should be confusion about that. It's not. I feel like the father is supposed to protect. I don't see how he can protect his kids and they're in three, four different houses. How is he there at nighttime to protect all these different areas? Like, you're not Superman, so... You know, but I mean, you can make that argument about any man that that's stuck on the road, or, or yeah, but not. A, but the, we're talking about a man that's choosing to have multiple households. But, no, but you're saying and still but, think but that argument, because he can financially you know, provide argument, that he's, he's hitting all corners on being a dad. Yeah, your argument falls apart when you say I don't see how he can protect, and you're making you're basing it only on. That. I don't see that. That's I don't a, see how he a, doesn't understand. You can't protect your kids if you have multiple households and there's one of you, but you got four different households. But my response to that would be, my response to that would be, well, a man that has to work for 70, 80 hours a week can't protect his home either. So are they both in the same boat? No, men go home at night unless they working in a meal overnight somewhere. Eventually he goes home where his family is at. Is he going to three different homes at night? Or for instance, somebody like Cam Newton who's on the road for three and a half, four or five days out the week. How can he protect his home if he's gone four or five days out the week? Like, I, that's, that would be the argument. You're not, no, 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 you're doing team too much. Ain't nobody no. talking about that. No, I no, what what that. You, you know what I'm talking about. Don't act like somebody talking about that. You know what I'm talking about. Wait a minute. What I'm saying is that's where your argument falls apart. No, it didn't fall apart. You went to the left because that's not Neil, what it is. Neil, so relax. don't put it on me. Neil, you can stick relax. to your narrative, relax. but don't put it on me. Relax. Relax. You don't have to get it. We good. We good here. We just have no, time. Sweeney. I'm just saying to you, like you always, say, you always go too far. Team too how, much. How is that going too far? There's that is Sweeney. a fair what argument. What are you talking about? My <laughs> argument falls apart. I just simply said, how does a man not know or not see that he is not at night protecting all of his kids or his households? When he can only be in one place at the one same, time. The same way that a man that's on the road for four or five days at the week. That's not the same so thing when we're talking about a man time. that is choosing so to build. He we're the only community. To be honest with you, our, our community is the main community that thinks this is a flex, and it's not. We're the only community that thinks, because I can take care of different kids. I can have kids. that I can have my households. We're the only ignorant ones that think that. And that's why our community has so many broken homes. So I'm not saying like? that the that's other ones don't do it. I'm just saying we're the ones that like think it's like the best thing popping. Would it be fair to say that men don't need custody of the so kids? Look, Pete Game, but I, I, by your you guys' example, then the men don't have to be fathers at all. They don't have to be there. Listen, it was listen, okay. listen, that's not what we're saying. Look, no, look, look, y'all. That's not what we're saying. Y'all listen, listen, y'all getting all bent out of shape. Listen, y'all getting all bent out of shape about this. And all we saying is all we saying is look. Right. First off, Buddy has eight children, but only between three women, meaning that one woman Ooh. has four children. Another woman has three children. That seems like a very long relationship between the two of them. The new girl oh, only has mad. one child. Right. Listen, that's only the new girl only has one child. Right. Okay. One child. And he's still currently with her. You feel me? So, like, if I had four children with this woman and forgot, for some reason, we didn't get married, but I still take care of her and she don't want for shit and my kids are good, you can't demonize me for that. Then I got with another woman and we were together long enough to have three children. And we, oh. hold on, I ain't done. And we, and we still rocking. And we still rocking, but we didn't get married, right? But now I got a new girl and I still want to get married and I want my children. So he just, he should just stop having children because those two relationships didn't work. That's because not how no, we tell women. No, no, now you're just talking about what happens baby. every day. That's life. You still because choose and have no, kids. I'm I'm no matter who the hell you fall in love with. Of what his scenario. He I'm talking about the actuality of his them. scenario. He just because you love somebody, y'all well, connected so on me, y'all got kids. He knew he wasn't marrying them girls, and then he kept having babies. So that's no, that's not the question I asked. I, the, and he question. just said he still don't want to be married right now. I said, if he got married and divorced, would you look at it differently? It'd be okay if, so it was if he married the first one that he was with for 10 years, had five children. She divorced him. He gets re he gets remarried. Now she has, gotta divorce him. Has, Come on, you're not being fair. No, I'm asking a question. Ask Relax. Y'all no, really you gotta let me death. get the question out. You ain't gonna, now, really gotta let me get the question out. 
Ruth, y'all really got to let me get the question out. So if he was he was with this first woman for 10 years, they had four, they had four children, one that wasn't his. They get a divorce. If he marries the wait, wait, second, hold on, hold on, one, Sweeney, 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 hold on, Sweeney, hold on. Sweeney, say that one more time, Sweeney. Four children Dude. that he claims, but three of them are biologically his, right? Four of them so are biologically his. Somebody else, one of them isn't. So, so he out of the eight, his, one of those the aren't his. Are one of them aren't his. <laughs> Y'all exactly. being okay, so, picky with right, your extreme right. situation. I'll say I'll start this off with a question. Man. Have y'all ever wondered, you know, why you see behavior like this in society? So when, when people move like this, we tend to think to ourselves, I wouldn't do this. You know, this is how this isn't how I was raised. Uh, uh, these people are wrong. For some crazy reason, people still think that just because we have the same skin color and we have the same demographics, we all live by the same standards and principles. I stopped doing that. And the reason why I stopped doing that is because every man and every woman I speak with has seemed to deviate from the traditions that was passed down to them when it comes to marriage and when and when not to have the children. So now that I know every person has a, an individual standard, how they want to live, how they want to procreate, and how they want to move in relationships, I, f I find it beneficial to focus on the outcomes that each individual, you know, they want to achieve. So if I look at Cam Newton, I see a man who approached a number of women um, and asked them, are they okay? Are they comfortable with being unwed mothers? And I hear these women saying yes. So the only way I can judge Cam Newton is if he's, giving these women the intention or, or the hope of something more than being the mom of his children. But other than that, man, it's all about the outcomes. If that those are the outcomes he want, and he communicated that with these women and they sign off on it, how can we judge? Go ahead, Kelly. Um, I think this goes back to what the young lady with the locks was saying. She said it's hard for a man to protect his family when he's on the road, etc. I think a man can protect his family, but it just won't be at full capacity when you have multiple households. That's it. So it's unfair to the children in a sense. But then you have the women who signed up to have the babies because of whatever reason. I mean, and we know what that is. So, you know, they can protect, but it's only going to be at a certain capacity. I'm it's not fair when these kids grow up like, oh, well, my dad, you know, has four other families. And it's not something that just started. It's been happening for years.